Welcome to the AI for Good Global Summit. I'm now joined by Cosmos Zava Zava, who's director of the Telecommunication Development Bureau of the ITU. Good to have you. Thank you. So, what would you like the outcome of the AI for Good Global Summit to be? At the AI uh, Global Summit, uh, we are building a foundation. We've brought together multi-stakeholders, private sector, uh, United Nations agencies, academia, etc., to shape the way forward on the application of uh, artificial intelligence. And for you, what are the specific benefits of AI? The specific benefits, uh, I think the work that we do in the development sector is really to touch people's lives. And there are many applications that come with artificial intelligence. Uh, for example, in alleviating uh, poverty, uh, monitoring the environment, uh, etc., and uh, disaster risk reduction, monitoring, and uh, taking measures to effectively respond to the challenge that humanity faces. So there are many applications that are aligned also with the, the Sustainable Development Goals. I mean, w when we think about hunger, health, education, all these UN Sustainable Development Goals are also crucial, right? Absolutely, and delivery of uh, healthcare is quite important because we just don't have enough specialists to go everywhere. And you can use just by looking at your mobile phone, you can be able to get assistance from a specialist. Talking specifically about how AI can help with disaster management, talk me through that. Well, uh, you know, there are various phases in disaster management, uh, beginning with early warning systems, uh, response, uh, preparedness, etc. So it is important to be able to have access, for example, for early warning, injecting in the early warning signals, artificial intelligence, so that when you are sending signals, you target only those people who are in affected areas. So that's an effective way. You can also deliver uh, assistance using robots, uh, you can also have access to dangerous uh, areas of disaster, affected by the disaster. And uh, by so doing, you will be sending the robots to do the job that humans would ordinarily do. And how do you see AI impacting society in the future? I think there is uh, an ethical dimension to uh, the applications of AI, uh, democracy, and participation in elections are also quite uh, key elements. For students, of course, plagiarism is a big threat uh, that still needs uh, to be addressed. So there are many, uh, for everything that we do, of course, there is uh, the good and the bad and the ugly. And uh, AI comes also with those challenges. And I think uh, the population is fearful of uh, losing jobs. And so reskilling and skilling is quite important. It's not that the jobs will not be there, but they will just be of a different nature. And that brings me to the next question. With AI and related technologies, can that help us to, to um, bridge the digital divide? Absolutely. Uh, so the telecommunication networks are going to function in a robust, uh, efficient way. And for the efficiency of the network to operate AI, with this precision can help uh, in the operation of the network, but also spectrum management. The effective, we have limited the spectrum and the allocated spectrum can be managed more effectively uh, by AI, just like in the manufacturing area, just to add. Uh, precision in terms of goods, precision in the area of healthcare, in surgery, all those are the benefits that we can get uh, from, uh, from, from using artificial intelligence. And in terms of connectivity, we have to map using geographical information systems, which can be linked also to artificial intelligence to identify the gaps and to be able for us to say, well, the demand is this and we can bridge it in this way and we need precision. And the data is at the center of artificial intelligence. So we collect a lot of data, we validate the data, we report on the data, we develop methodologies for internationally respected data. So it is important for us to be able to use artificial intelligence for the benefit of humanity, including, of course, as I said, on poverty alleviation through smart agriculture and with precision uh, agriculture, and also coping uh, with uh, pests and the other challenges that come with agriculture and administering without human intervention, really, uh, pesticides, herbicides, etc. 
Interesting. Fascinating. We could talk for a long time. Cosmos Zavazava from the ITU, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. And we'll have much more from the AI for Good Global Summit coming up right here.